Hi, I'm Chloe Alsop. I'm the marketing manager for Metro Trains Melbourne and the client behind Dumb Ways to Die. So we wanted to make our customers know that we, we cared about their safety and at the time we didn't have anything in market that did that apart from some signage about what they're not allowed to do, which was quite tactical and direct in don't do this, don't run, mind the tracks, watch where you're going, etc. So to get into a younger market and try and, and change behaviour, um, we just wanted something that would engage and enter into their worlds more and, and start the conversation about train safety. So, which, you know, to get into a, a young person's psyche and interest is, it's not the most, the topic probably on the top of their list to talk about or to think about. Um, I don't think kids think that they are going to die or worry about their safety too much. So we really needed to look for a, a different way to do this. And, and that's how Dharma was born. And I think a way, what makes it dumb work is that the animation and, and the visual is so cute and unrealistic that we can do some gory scenes such as the, the guy crossing the track that gets hit by the, by the train or running with your hair on fire or, or getting shot being a moose in hunting season. That creative platform gave us a little bit more licence to be, be silly and, and have a bit of fun. Um, bit of fun with it. The song's as cute as the characters and the and the words around it are just as important and the three of those components coming together um, created the 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 results what we've got. So without one of those three being as, as good as they are, I don't think we would have had such a success. I don't think we can we can pick a favourite. It was just um, sort of the three components coming together to um, make some really good creative.